Hey everyone and welcome to another Building with Gazmo tutorial where today we're going to take on what people have suggested in the comments section and that's large structures. The tool we're going to be using for this is WorldEdit. Now I'm here with iWrite aka Alex. Alex say hi. Hey guys. And yeah, what are we doing? Take it away. Alright, uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is talking about uh, block palette. Um, any large scale build that you see usually pertains to a certain number of blocks and I've laid out a very basic six block palette here for the large build, the time lapse that will be coming up at the end of the video. And this does not include of course the stairs and slabs and everything that go in, but just the basic colors that you'll be seeing throughout the build. Um, block palettes are very important to have because it's just, I don't know, it keeps everything uniform and nice. and building a Minecraft uh, square game, it's very nice to have things that are symmetrical and even. All right, uh, the second thing I'd like to talk about is using world edit is the position commands. You can do anything from slash slash wand to give you a wooden axe in your inventory where you left click for your uh, first position and you right click for your second position. Um, I find this a little old fashioned and impractical simply because it takes up in an inventory space. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and use a little more uh, modern way of doing things. World Edit comes in with two other ways to select your positions. The slash slash POS1 command and the slash slash POS2 command. Now, uh, those are relative to wherever you're standing. So whatever block you are standing in is going to be whichever position you indicate by putting one or two. There's also another way of doing things uh, using slash slash HPOS1 and slash slash HPOS2. So let's go ahead and select this house over here, which just so happens to be a very, very high quality rendition of the Gasmo headquarters made by myself, of course. It's beautiful. Is that our epic structure? This is the epic structure. Here's Brilliant. the time. I love it. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing with this house then? All right, uh, moving on, we're going to do the copy and paste, which are basically two of the most important commands that you will ever use with World Edit. So many builds that you see on Planet Minecraft or on any website that you look at builds or any server are done by copying and pasting. And that's not to say that copying and pasting is cheating. What World Edit allows you to do is go beyond what you could previously do if you were just placing them by hand. That's exactly. our excuse anyway. <laughs> we're sticking with it. <laughs> All right, uh, now notice when you make your selection and you go to enter the copy command, which is slash slash copy, wherever you're standing when you type in slash slash copy is where you're going to copy the block the selection from so say i copy it from right here in front of this post copy and when i go to paste it again i'm going to be standing in the exact same position relative to this structure whenever it pastes now we have to note that we have two houses now two gasmo hqs exactly awesome Okay, and everything in World Edit you can undo by entering the slash slash undo command, which honestly is probably the absolute most important thing that you could ever know. Yes, agreed. <laughs> I, I can uh, remember several times building anything very large that I have done a ridiculously large selection and set it to something crazy like water or lava by accident, I'm just screaming to myself, undo, 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 before the server crashes. Uh, usually the server crashes before I can save it and my reputation along with it. It's Anyways. funny, we talked about crashing in the last tutorial. It seems we do do this <laughs> far too much. Well, at least we can uh, fix it, though. <laughs> well, that's true. That is true. Okay, so now that we've got the copy and paste commands, let's go to another paste command, which is slash slash paste space minus a and what the minus a does is it removes all the air blocks outside of uh from inside your selection this is very very handy whenever you're doing things trying to say paste something into a mountain or just merge two buildings together because this doesn't give you a big air box around any blank spaces that you may have left uh for example 
I'm going to go ahead and do paste minus A right here. The two buildings should interlock at one point. Let's go take a look at that. This minus A allows for this structure to be interlocked. And if you really wanted to, you could break into it and go and just have a large house. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the stack command. What stack basically allows you to do is to take your selection and you can say stack forward, which means it'll do this slash slash stack space forward space one. Pardon me, that's not forward, it's just stack space one. It's uh, relative to wherever you are looking. So if you're looking down, it'll stack one down. If you're looking up, it'll stack one up. And if you're looking forward, it'll stack one forward. And you can do more than one. For example, I'll do 10. We now have 10 Gasmo headquarters. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the rotate commands. This is a very, very widely used command that you see in symmetrical builds. Uh, again, it's relative to wherever you copy it from. So I copied from this corner post right here. I'm going to type in slash slash rotate space, the degree of rotation, which they only go up in increments of 90. So 90 will rotate it once clockwise. 180 will rotate it twice, uh, two 90s in a clockwise manner and 270 will rotate it three times and 360 of course brings it around to a full circle so let's go ahead and paste once at 90 and as you can see here we've got of course uh, world edit does have a couple bugs where sometimes stairs or slabs or sideways logs uh, get a little messed up whenever you paste with world edit so you do need to sometimes go back and fix some of the things you do um, I find myself questioning if it's really worth it using world edit, but then I think, of course it is, because it saves me so much time and all I have to do is fix up a couple minor things. I'll, ro I'll go ahead and rotate this one more time. Okay. And as you can see, it's rotating relative to that one position symmetrically. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set the time today real quick. Okay, now another of one of my personal favorite uh, commands is the flip command. This allows you to flip something or mirror it in a very, very easy manner. Now, uh, this is kind of a tricky command to get a hold of, but it took me a while. So once you have your selection made, you do slash slash flip space reverse. Um, now, when I say reverse, it will flip it to the opposite of whichever direction you're looking. So you want to be looking forward straight at the uh, selection from your copy point. And it should say clipboard flipped whenever you get it reversed. Now I can come over here, paste it right beside it. And there you go. So flipped is completely opposite. <laughs> now that command's quite an important one for a uh, future tutorial of ours, which will be how to make a floating island the easy way. And you'll see what I mean by that when the tutorial comes. Anyway, so is there any other commands you want to go through? Uh, just one last one. It's the clear command. Uh, this is just a slash clear space minus A, which clears all the items out of your hotbar and your inventory. I find this very helpful after I've gone through maybe say deleting something in world edit which might i don't know just take up a lot of inventory space just clear space minus a and that should do it for basic building commands in world edit okay well now you've done that now we've seen some of these basic commands let's put it into practice and watch alex build something cool okay so here in front of us we have our large structure and this is all being done by uh taken a couple of bits that were pre-built by Alex that we see behind us here and pasted together. Now this is an over exaggerated example of what you can do with world edit but even this looks pretty pretty damn cool and this was done in 20-30 minutes so it wasn't necessary for a time lapse because it would have been incredibly short 
you have to you have to put a, a couple of bits in yourself obviously the roof uh, just patching up anything but really I mean that's that's all it is so this last bit of the puzzle right here we're gonna just have Alex put this in so Alex take it away all right just get in position here whoops I don't think that's right I think you messed that up Alex a wee bit that was very professional. Now get it right. Come on. You can do this, Alex. Come on. All right. I'm just going to undo it. And I'm going to do slash slash rotate space 270. Then paste. And there we have it. Excellent. So that is one large structure. One quite actually pretty looking structure. I like this. And this was literally do done from these two pieces. Maybe this could be the new Casimo headquarters. I like it's better than our first one. It's slightly bigger. Yeah, I think we could fit the first one inside of this one. I think that'd be pretty cool. Just, just. <laughs> so it's got a lot, nice bit of detail to it. I like it. There we go. So there we go, guys. Large structures. Simple with the world edit tool. And the world edit tool you can find uh, on bucket, bucket.org. You will need a server for it. I do believe there is single player commands for this, for World Edit, is there? Yes, you can actually download the single player commands mod and there's a World Edit dot jar that you just throw into your bin. And I would assume the commands are basically the same. They'll have the same functions, so you can just you can just grab that, do it in your single player. But this is mm -hmm. this is done off a server and remember, it can lag, can crash servers. So be careful. So guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We do pay attention to your comments, so if you want to make a suggestion of what you want to see next or anything like that, please go ahead. We do listen. So as always, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.